Hello and welcome to Point All View. China's ambitious lunar sample return mission from the far side of the moon is all set to get underway. As a first step of the mission, China has rolled out the Long March 8th rocket to launch Keqiao-2 lunar satellite, relay satellite for communications between the far side of the moon and Earth. China is set to launch its Keqiao-2 communications relay satellite to support upcoming moon missions late March 19th. A long March 8th rocket was vertically transferred to a launch pad at Wenchang Satellite Launch Center early March 17th. The rocket will launch Keqiao-2 towards the moon in preparation for the Chang'e 6 lunar far side sample return mission in May. Keqiao-2 has a staggering mass of 1,200 kg and is kitted with a 4.2-meter parabolic antenna. Its elliptical orbit will allow it to maintain communication with both Earth and lunar far side, which never faces the Earth because the Moon is tightly locked to the Earth. The one-of-its-kind satellite has a mission lifetime of more than eight years. It is specially designed to support the Chang'e 6 mission and later Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions to the lunar south pole. While the exact time and date Chinese authorities have not openly announced a time and date for launch, but based on social media speculation and airspace closure notices it is widely expected to launch on March 19th Easter time and March 20th Beijing time. Keqiao-2 will enter a highly elliptical, frozen lunar orbit inclined by 55 degrees. The satellite will make its closest approach to the moon at roughly 300 km altitude while over the northern hemisphere. The satellite will travel to the farthest point from the moon, called the Apollo, which is 8,600 km away. Since the moon is tidally locked to the Earth, one hemisphere of it always faces our planet. Keqiao's orbit will have line of sight to both Chang'e 6, which is targeting Apollo crater in the southern hemisphere of the far side, and Earth for a large portion of its orbital period. Keqiao 2 will use X and UHF bands to communicate with Chang'e spacecraft, and S and KA bands for communications with Earth. It features multiple data rates and reconfigurable software. China conducted its first lunar sample return mission, Chang'e 5, in 2020. That mission saw 1,731 grams of near-side lunar regolith and dust delivered to Earth after a complex 23-day four spacecraft operation. Chang'e 6 will similarly attempt to grab up to 2,000 grams of lunar material, this time from the lunar far side, requiring the support of Keqiao 2. Studying samples from the far side of the moon could help us understand why its two hemispheres are different. It may also give us clues about the history of the Earth-Moon system. Keqiao 2, which is also known as Magpie Bridge 2, is a more capable follow-up to Keqiao, launched in 2018. That satellite facilitated the Chang'e, for mission, the first ever lunar far side landing. The first relay satellite, which has been in operation for years, is still working well. It stays in a halo orbit around a point called the Earth-Moon Lagrange Point L2. This is situated roughly 70,000 kilometers beyond the Moon. Keqiao 2 satellite also carries payloads as part of the science objectives of the 2026 Chang'e 7 mission. These are an extreme ultraviolet camera, an array neutral atom imager, and an Earth-Moon length very long baseline interferometry experiment. Also aboard the launch will be small, experimental satellites Tianju-1 and Tianju-2. These will fly in formation in lunar orbit and conduct tests for navigation and communications technology verification. Tests will include satellite-to-ground laser ranging and inter-satellite microwave ranging methods. The objective of the Tianju satellites is to inform the design of China's proposed Keqiao lunar navigation and communication constellation. The launch of Keqiao 2 follows the apparent loss of a pair of satellites intended to enter lunar distant retrograde orbit. The DROA and B satellites launched on a long March 2C rocket from Xichang Spaceport on March 14. The mission's YZ-1S upper stage suffered a malfunction, which put the satellites in the wrong orbit. The Keqiao 2 launch will be just the third for the 50.3 meter long Long March 8 rocket. It flew for the first time in 2020 before setting a then-national record for satellites on a single launch in early 2022. The Long March 8 rocket is a combination of two different rocket stages. The first stage is from the new Long March 7 series, which uses kerosene and liquid oxygen. The second stage is from the older Long March 3A series and uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. 
They are putting together an improved version of this rocket, and it's set to launch soon from a new launch site near Wenchang Spaceport. Here's wishing the Qiao 2 launch and Chang'e 6 mission all the very best. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.